Hey everyone. So today we will be learning about the hash time lock contract and how to use it on the BitShares decentralized exchange. So we have a scenario here between Bob and Alice. So we will be using uh, these two characters to be able to create an HTLC. So the scenario here, for example, is that Bob wants to buy one CBDC from Alice for $17,000 in cash. Alice needs to assure Bob that the funds are reserved for him. Okay, so basically an HTLC is commonly used by people who knows each other. So never transact with people you don't know. So interesting use cases for this HTLC is for regular purchases, asset swaps without exchange, so it doesn't affect the value of your of your currency and for cross chain atomic swaps, that's which means that you will be using two blockchains to transact. So what happens next is that Alice creates an HTLC. So assuming that I am Alice, so all I have to do is go to this burger menu, click Spotlight, and then click on hash time lock contracts. Then I will be creating an HTLC for Bob. Bob's account, for example, is uh, go the chairs. All right, and then I'll be sending him uh, BBC. So there, I got the uh, Alice got three bitcoins, and I'll be sending one BBC. So now I can roll the dice here so that I can change okay, the pre-image. This will serve as your redeem code. So you have to copy this information. So make sure that you copy it on a notepad or something. Right? And paste. Okay, so just copy that and paste it on your notepad. That's the pre-image. And of course, this one is the hash. All right. So once that's done, you can now determine how many days would you expect Bob to pay you. Okay, so if we're talking about wire transfers, maybe a one, one week would be, so Bob has one week to send you the payment. And then just click on create, then authorize it, and then log in. Now all you need to do now is to confirm the transaction. So. Basically, you will be charged 11 uh, point something, but shares are, depends on how long your pre image is. Then click on confirm. Okay. See, so I must have two bit shares to do this. So I'll need two. So once it's done, once you, con you confirmed it, it will be appearing here as a contract. All right. So once it's done, Bob can now send the payment to Alice via wire transfer. And then Alice confirms payment and sends Bob the receipt, the receipt code the redeem code, right? So now Bob can unlock that Bitcoin that was sent to him. So because basically that's how HTLC works. So detailed instructions will be uh, on the manual that Dale created. Okay, so if you have other questions, uh, please do so. Uh, send that to Dale or Eileen and we will answer it again on the next uh, training. Okay, there's also another one that can be used for peer-to-peer -peer transaction other than HTLC. 
which is, of course, the barter. Okay, so just go back to Spotlight and then click Barter. All right, so for example, I would be dealing with, um, okay, so my account is HJV plus Ventures, right? And then I'd like to deal with someone uh, on my list, someone I know, of course. Okay, you can basically scroll, scroll down or you can just type in the, the name, for example, of the Bob. Okay, so there you are. For example, for CNI Bob 1940. Now, I can view, for example, the different assets that Bob has on this one. And then, for example, he has 500 composites here. Okay. 500, just place 500 there, and then I'm willing to purchase that for 500 of my e load. All right, so what will happen is that once this, is, once this proposal is approved by each party, which means me and him, then the assets are interchange. Okay, so Bob gets the e load and I get the conditions. And it doesn't affect the market. Okay. Now if you're if you don't trust Bob and you know a friend who whom you trust, you can add an escrow. Okay, so for example My escrow would be a uh, Pompey matrix, for example. Okay, so I'll be my escrow would be Pompey matrix, and I can click this one so that the asset would be kept by Pompey matrix. But of course, I can also uh, leave that. As it is, if you don't, if you want the asset to be kept on your account, so CompuMatrix must approve the transfer or the barter, and then, of course, you would need to pay CompuMatrix a fee, for example, for for its escrow service. Let's say five bits here. Then that's it. Click on Propose, and then Confirm. Okay, so basically there, this will create a proposal. Always remember that you always remember that uh, when creating a proposal, make sure that everyone, every party knows about it. Okay, do not create an indecent proposal or something that nobody knows. Or, or to someone whom you do not know, right? So once you confirm this, this will basically become a proposal on each of the three participants on the system. Take note that the escrow account is optional, so you can leave this back. You can remove the escrow and just do the deal with each other, okay? So that you wouldn't be spending another five bits there. And then click Propose, and then confirm it. All right, so take note that you must have uh, the applicable fees ready in order to do a barter. Once that's confirmed, you can now uh, tell Bob that to go ahead and uh, approve, then I'll approve, and both assets will be interchanged on our accounts without affecting the exchange. Okay, so that's it. That's barter.